Good morning, movers, and welcome to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. This beginner workout is focusing all on your lower body, but it's gonna be knee friendly. So no squats, no lunges. We're still gonna be targeting all of those muscles in the legs. Grab a variety of dumbbells, you'll need that in the workout. Today your format will be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. We'll hit each exercise for two rounds and then move on. All right, if you're looking for an upper body workout for tomorrow, click or tap the card at the top of the screen and download that one. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Set my watch to strength training. All right. Let's start with a little side to side lunge. Reach those hips back. Nice little inner thigh stretch here. And you can bring that opposite shoulder toward the opposite knee. Just like that. A couple more here. And stay wide, let's touch our toes, opposite hand to foot, or if you can't reach your toe, tap your knee. Two more here. And let's move into some front and back uh, hinges right here, so hinge at the waist. And then hips go forward. There we go. And then last one here. Mm, feels good. Let's go into some hip openers up and around, just like that. And it's a heel sweeps, alternating sides. Sweep the ground, heel is up. Last one here. Hold on to something just to stabilize yourself. We're gonna swing that leg all the way back, but it's flexed 15 per leg here. There's five, 10 more on this side. And switch your side. here. Very good. All right, there's your first set of exercises. Take a look, grab your dumbbells, and here we go. You're starting with the leg extension out to the side. Now I'm going to hold a dumbbell on my side of my leg. Knee is soft on that stationary leg. I'll call half and then we'll switch sides. Shoulders back, so lift it up. Of course, you can do this without the dumbbell as well. It's just adding a little bit of tension. I remember those old school weighted bars. If you have one of those, you could hold it against the side of your leg as well. But good tension on that stationary leg, actually. One more here. Switch your side. Knee is soft and up. Good. To a single dumbbell deadlift. Uh, you can grab a 10 to 12, something in that range. Wide stance. We're going to hinge forward at the waist, 
pause at the bottom and stand and squeeze. So you're slow, slow, pause, and up. Good. Nice flat back and you're reaching those hips back. Here's your side view. That weight down, and we're going to that high knee with an underhand clap. So you're here, we're gonna alternate and clap just like that. Let's get the heart rate up a little bit. Here we go, you're here and here, good. Okay, into round two, same thing from the top. Grabbing that eight pound weight for my leg extension. Stationary leg is soft, shoulders back, and we're out to the side, abducting. You're here and here. One more here, switch your side, and lift. Moving to that single dumbbell deadlift. 12, 15, whatever you feel comfortable with. But your wide stance, knees are soft and hinging at the waist. Pause at the bottom and up. And that weight down, going back into our high knee clap. Alternating, you're here. Very good, we're bringing it down to the ground. Lie on your side, we're gonna do a little inner thigh leg lift. So you're here, flex the foot, 
I'll come halfway and we'll flip sides. Ready, let's work and lift, lift, good. I do want you to flex that foot and then bring that whole foot to the ceiling, targeting those adductor muscles on that inner thigh. Woo, yep, I feel it already. Doesn't take long. Keep going for four, three, two, and switch your side. Here we go, and up. You're gonna flip over onto all fours. We're gonna hit that fire hydrant leg extension. All right, stay on the same side. I'll call half, we'll switch, nice flat back. Here we go, we lift it up, out, in, down. Again, you're gonna find a lot of the tension and the burn on that stationary leg as it holds the isometric contraction. All right, switch your leg. our way to standing for some calf raises. This can be done with or without weights. I'm just gonna hold two 10 pound dumbbells and we're gonna come up to our tiptoes, shoulders back, flexing calves. So up right here and down, good. more we're gonna put our heels close together with our toes out all right make that transition now and up to the tiptoes just targeting a slightly different aspect of your calf you can hold dumbbells up in your shoulders as well if you need back down on the ground there. Let's get that inner thigh again. All right, flexing your foot. I'll call half and we'll switch. Here we go. Lift. One and switch. All right, let's go to the leg that you weren't just using on that fire hydrant with a kick. All right, nice flat back. Again, I'll call half. Neutral neck, look at the ground. Lift it up, out, in, down. That's a burner. <laughs> Last one here, switch your side and work. And again for those calf raises. I think I'll stick with those tens. And again, we'll call half and you can switch to the heels together. 
Otherwise, come up as high as you can on those tiptoes and work and up. Heels together, toes are out and up. Okay, setting those weights down. We're gonna go against a wall and now do toes up, okay? Because we're gonna work the tibialis anterior or the front shin muscle. Lean against a wall, feet about a foot away, and toes come up. So you're up and down, up and down. If you don't have a wall, you can do the standing. Okay, it's better with the wall. So if you have something to lean against, that would be great. Now, too difficult, you move your feet closer to the wall. Too easy, walk it out. But it's hard, and this is hard for me too. Great exercise though to strengthen that first layer of impact, right? When we take a step on the stairs, when we run, when we walk, when we jog, that shin is, and the calf and the Achilles are your first muscles to hit and activate important to train. Down on the ground again for that rainbow. So a nice flat back and that one leg is straight. We're tapping it side to side in a semicircle or in a rainbow shape. I'll call half, don't arch the back. a dumbbell for those glute thrusts. Okay, I'm gonna grab a 15. You're on your back, feet are shoulder width apart, and we're going to pulse at the top. Place the dumbbell on your pelvis. So you're up, pulse, and down. Up, pulse, and squeeze, down. Good. Have a good handle on that dumbbell. Alice raise. Toes up. Here and here. It's hard, isn't it? you can walk closer to the wall to make it slightly easier. About a foot away myself. Whew. That's good. All right, down on the ground. I'll call halfway on the rainbow. Remember to keep that leg straight, okay? Don't arch the back. 
squeeze the glute. And work. here I'll call half and you're lifting right in front so you're here and here last one here and switch your leg and up Thrust, but this time we're going to do a frog glute thrust. So feet are together and touching. Knees are wide and apart. All right, I'm holding that 15 pound dumbbell on my pelvis. Here we go. So you're up and squeeze. Good. Up and pause. Take your time if you're dizzy, okay? We're upside down for a bit. Moving into butt kicks. You're gonna single, single, and then double butt. All right, add that punch. Single, single, double butt. That's it, one, two, double here. Lift. Nice and 
tall and I'll call half. Feel that quad flexing each time a leg has to come up. It's good. All right, switch your side. Very good. Back to that frog glute thrust. So again, feet are touching, knees are open. Pause at the top. Have a good handle on that dumbbell. Let's work. Up. Cardio, hamstring kick with the single double butt kicks. All right, add that punch, help get the heart rate up a little bit. Add that punch. Double here, good. And double here. Activation on this guy. That's it. Last one on this side and switch your leg. balance on if you need. We're going to do an open door, swinging door. So leg comes up, out, in, and down. I'll come halfway, then we'll switch. Might hold on to something here. All right. Bring it up, out, in, down. Try not to tap the floor in between. We're going to keep tension on that stationary glute, okay, as it holds our body weight up. And really great hip opener exercise here as well. Whoo, that burn. Last one here. Switch your sides. Up, swing the door and down. into a hamstring march. All right, on your back, make sure those legs are as far away from you as you can muster. 
And then we're going to alternate, lift your butt off the ground and push your foot toward the ceiling. Let's work. So it's left and right. Don't touch the ground with your butt each time. Stay in that bridge position, creating tension on the glutes and hamstrings. You can hold your mat if you need to prevent yourself from slipping. Target those hamstrings. Great exercise. Back to the top. Last round, folks. Let's start off with that elbow to knee. Straight leg kick. I'll call half. Switch legs. Into your swinging door. So again, find something to stabilize yourself. That stationary knee is soft. Shoulders back, engage the core, work on your stability here. All right, up, here we go, open. Same side, up and open, good. Last one here, switch your leg. Final exercise on your back for that hamstring march. As far away from your legs or your butt as you can. That will target those hamstrings more. Here we go. And march from the heel. Stay right in this position from our back and we'll lengthen through those shortened leg muscles. Last 10 seconds. Work, work. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your leg workout, knee friendly style. All right, stay down here for a stretch. Great work, everyone. Let's flex that hamstring here, okay? Line on your back, just gently pull that leg towards you. If you can't reach there, grab the back of your hamstring and just gently pull toward. Nice work. I'm gonna let that leg just gently fall out to the side, stretching that inner thigh. You can support it with your elbow there. Flex the foot. Oh, feels good. Switch sides. Nice hamstring stretch, flexing, pushing the heel toward the ceiling. That's it. And you can let that leg fall out to the side a little bit. Oh, perfect, my wall's catching it. <laughs> I don't have to work too hard. Sometimes I like to wrap a towel around my leg and let it fall all the way out just to, and then hold that position there for a while just to get some good increase in my flexibility. All right, I'm gonna put my heels together, feet together, let those knees fall open. Just a gentle rock side to side here is good. 
Yeah, I did this yoga flow a couple of weeks ago and I loved it so much. It was very introspective. Let's grab the knees and give them a hug. Uh, you, you held each pose for like sometimes a minute. <laughs> it was a long time, but it gave you time sort of to contemplate and to really be in your body, which was nice. Let's go into a quad stretch, grab those shoelaces. But I thought as I was doing it, like one of the stretches was we used a towel and we let our leg fall open to the side and a really lengthening in through that inner thigh. I thought like how often do I just spend time really in my body, lengthening my body, paying attention to in, what's happening inside. I just thought it was such a great moment to do that. And I thought, you know what, Trace, you need to do that more not just on retreats, uh, but what if you could just incorporate that on a regular basis? Maybe like every Sunday, you're gonna spend some time doing a little me time where you're stretching and lengthening and contemplating or doing mindful attention or deep breathing or yoga nidra or whatever, right? I think that's a great practice and one that I would definitely like to elevate. I'm gonna elevate my game in that regard for sure. Let's go into a glute stretch, hug that knee, draw it in, and a little torso turn here. If you can, drop those shoulders. So there you go, good leg workout without any squats or lunges. You, you can tell, you can still feel those glutes activating. I like those isometric holds. Of course, we did some things with the calves and with the tibialis anterior, which can help strengthen knees that are damaged or um, sore. Right, if you follow that knees over toes guy, he's got a huge protocol of different exercises you can do to help strengthen the muscles that surround the knee area. And I think that's really important, hinge forward here, grab those feet, draw them toward you. It's important for knee health. We're, we're always gonna have to climb the stairs. So what are the actions that the leg, the knee has to do when going downstairs? And those should be things that we are practicing on a regular basis, right? One of the things that he does that I, I've been doing on my stairs is just that down step. So, you know, I'm just using this block as an example, but when we go down the stairs, our knee goes over the toe, right? So what if you just practiced doing this action, you know, 10 to 12 times per leg, where the knee is going over the toe, but you're strengthening these vastus muscles on the inside and the outside of the knee. So this is one of the protocols that he does. And then eventually, you know, once that gets stronger, you're waiting uh, the activity, okay? Already, I feel that my quad is like, whoo! And anyway, I think those are good exercises, but again, go in conjunction with what your own physio or doctor says and work within your own abilities. All right, thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next workout.